interesting topic today, guys. Another interesting topic. Another conversation starter topic today. Another hot topic, as I like to, as I like to call it recently. What are we talking about, right? No Man's Sky, okay? By the way, my name is just Jared. You can just call me Jared. Welcome back to another No Man's Sky video. So, <sighs> mods, No Man's Sky mods, modifications to No Man's Sky, if you will. It's modifications to Hello Games, this game, No Man's Sky. Do you like mods? Do you like No Man's Sky mods? Do you want No Man's Sky mods on PlayStation 4? Right now, pause the video. Let me know down in the comments. I'll wait for you. Time's up. Okay. This is the conversation we're having. My only Patreon supporter, Sean, brought up this question. All right, no, he didn't bring up this question. He's always hating on No Man's Sky mods. And I only know about one mod, and that's Ray Rod's mod. I don't use any other ones. If you're another mod creator for No Man's Sky, props to you. Because... Do what you like to do, you know? Am I a supporter of mods? Yes. Do I think people who hate mods are relatively frustrating? Yes. Because No Man's Sky, for the most part, is a very positive community who support each other, no matter what. Recently, we've had some weird issues that I'm not 100% following. And even before them, we had the hashtag say hello campaign that basically started a war between everybody. My bad. Um, <laughs> so everybody supports everybody. That's always how it's been. Every content creator who covers No Man's Sky is a fan of each other, except maybe Orbit. Just saying. Just saying. Moving on. So. It's frustrating to me when people hate mods or dislike mods or wish that mods never go to PS4. So that's what we're talking about. Mods on PlayStation 4. Ray Ra's mod is amazing, is fantastic, and is an explorer, and that's what I bought No Man's Sky for, was to explore. I will play his mod. No, I can't run it amazing because my PC sucks, but it increases a lot of stuff that makes exploring a lot better. Now is exploring in regular No Man's Sky boring? No, I still play it on my PS4 Pro. Actually with the PS4 Pro, it's even better because of the visuals. Um, I would love to have Ray Rod's mod on PlayStation 4. If I had Ray Rod's mod on PlayStation 4, I would play both regular and his mod his mod mainly for exploration taking screenshots hello games is mod or hello games is actual game to play the game you know like mine and do things right and i feel like why not have mods on playstation 4 why hate like what i don't i don't quite get like if I'm playing regular No Man's Sky on my PlayStation and somebody else is playing a modded version of No Man's Sky on their PlayStation, it affects me none. So why? Why would I be like, screw you, bro. You're not part of the real community. Not saying people are doing that. I don't think anybody's doing that, hopefully. Yet. Um, here's the thing. If Hello Games... When the game launched, we're going to be like, we don't support mod support. We don't have mod support at all. I would be a little more against mods because I support Hello Games and they don't want mods. So I'd be like, dude, just don't mod the game. Okay, they don't want it. Just don't do it. But they're like, heck yeah, man. Mod our game. Do it. Work on it. Work hard. Make it cool. Make it your own. So Hello Games has no issue they actually want it. They support it. That's what the word support means. Just throwing that out there. Ray Rod is a good guy. We talk a lot through this super secret Twitter messaging group that I'm not supposed to talk about. He has put, I think, 4,000 hours into regular No Man's Sky. He put his stats up one time. Unmodded. 
No Man's Sky. And even more time, like, offline. Without his mod. Without counting the hours he's put making his mod. Which he has now spent two years on? Because, why? Because he loves the game. And the original reason he started was to make No Man's Sky look like the E3 trailers, which is what Hello Games envisioned their game to be. So what's the frickin' problem, <laughs> right? What's the problem with Ray Ross mod? That's mainly the thing. All the other mods, I don't know about. I don't know about any other mods. Mostly Ray Ross mod is what's talked about. So my argument is, if Hello Games were to be like, screw mods, please don't do it, I would be on their side. But they're not. They're just like, do whatever you want. Sean Murray himself retweeted Rayrod Mod screenshots and was blown away. That should tell you something, that he's proud of that. Because it's still No Man's Sky. Without the game, there would be no mod. So blame Hello Games if that's what you want to do. <laughs> oh, just, it frustrates me so much. And, and a big thing is really, without being, you know, overly dramatic or whatnot, uh, to be on the real, it's really hard for me as a person to talk to people, and not necessarily talk, but like when I enjoy a game so much, or a version of a game so much, if we're talking about the mod, when I enjoy it and I see like the possibilities and I see like the fun people could have playing this, whether or not it's a real thing by a real developer doesn't matter. If you could have fun, and if it could put a smile on your face, right, which is what this channel was originally built for, if it could entertain you at all, I am hyped for people to try it. Because that's my purpose on the channel, is to get people, to entertain people, to get them to laugh, get them to smile. That's what I started with. I mean, that's still what it is. And maintain a positive outlook and whatnot. If Ray Rod's mod can do that for people, fantastic. It does that for me. You know? If you hate mods, don't hate the people that make them. That's definitely another thing. Right? Because it's just their hobby. Just like mine is making videos. On No Man's Sky. Um, and, you know, giving my opinion. Like this video. His mod is amazing. Ray Rod's mod is amazing. And I feel like if it can bring some bliss to somebody, then all for it. It doesn't affect me if you like his mod or any mods for that matter, or dislike them. So why not have them on PlayStation? For more people to access, for more people to have the possibility to enjoy something different that's a little more varied from No Man's Sky how it is now. If you like mods on No Man's Sky, it doesn't mean you hate original No Man's Sky. It just means you're playing a different way. Or exploring something your friend made. Or exploring something co the community's talking about. Because we're all this big community. We all want to try and do everything and see what is to be seen. And the fact that Rayrod has pumped thousands of hours, tens of thousands of hours, into playing and creating what was originally showcased by Hello Games is amazing and I don't think people should hate his mod or hate him for anything that he's done because I know he's received a lot of hate over the his mod recently and before right mods on PlayStation is not going to ruin the game right let's say I'm playing unmodded somebody else is playing modded they're not going to come in with like multiplayer when next launches they're gonna show up in my game they're modded they're in like a transformer they're blasting my base to death because pvp and then they're like kicking me in the shin when i'm down no <laughs> okay <laughs> it's not gonna combine all right the worlds aren't gonna combine L let me be real right right now we don't have to worry about we don't have to worry about any of that ever because there's not enough people playing the game okay there's not enough people playing the game for it to be this huge debate about mods or unmods or no mods and mods, whatever. There's not enough people playing for there to be a, a debate like this. There shouldn't be a debate like this because there isn't a lot of people playing this game compared to other games out there. 
right? Where it makes sense for an argument. When there's a huge amount of groups of people passionate about one side or the other. But there's not. There's not that with No Man's Sky. There isn't. We all enjoy the game because it's relaxing. You can chill and play. Why does it matter if it's modded? It doesn't ruin your experience if I'm playing a modded version. It's hard for me to see to to hear people hating a game that I enjoy. Right? Like with some recent games like Destiny 2, for example. A lot of people don't like it. I'm starting to like it a lot more. But when I see people like really down and like that they can't get into it, I feel bad because I know the awesome experience that I'm having and I wish that that the game could do that for them as well. And that's the same thing with the Rayrods mod, right? And the same thing with No Man's Sky in general. I'm having this fantastic time making content, playing the game, relaxing, looking at the crazy stuff that happens in Ray Rod's mod, and playing regular No Man's Sky. I see his mod, and I'm like, I want other people to witness this, because he's worked super hard. It's not because, oh god, I wish No Man's Sky in real life, if actual No Man's Sky, I wish Hello Games did all this that Ray Rod did, I wish Hello Games didn't suck. No, that has nothing to do with it, right? It's nothing to do with it. I think a lot of people's perspective is you play modded because you don't like the original. You play modded because you're not happy with what Hello Games did. You play modded because you think Sean Murray lied. Right? All these things, but they're not the case with most of the people I've talked about who've played the mod. Look at L Plays. He's got like 160 episodes of regular alongside his episodes of Ray Rods. Because he enjoys both, just like I do. I would do freaking Ray Rod Let's Play and a regular Let's Play if I could. But Ray Rod's mod doesn't run good enough as I'm recording on my PC. I don't cover mods on this channel because there's nothing really to talk about. Ray Rod's mod's amazing. Go play it. That's it. It's just very puzzling to me. Now, Sean, you might not like this video. I told you the deed was done. I've been holding it back because I see your posts. I don't respond because we'll get into an argument, I know, Sean. That's why I don't talk to you in party chat, man. Because I know things will go sideways quick. Because you have strong opinions. I know you do. And that's fine. You don't have to agree. You don't have to unsubscribe. You don't have to stop supporting me on Patreon. If you want to, go ahead. It's fine. Nobody else supports me there anyway. Let's be real. <sighs> but that's my opinion for you. It's a humble opinion. Right? Just, who cares? <laughs> Do what you want. If it was illegal, or against Hello Games' you know, will, <laughs> then it would be a problem. But if you enjoy it, and if having mods on PlayStation 4, if we like threw statistics in here, right? And Hello Games was like, hey guys, if we put mods on PlayStation 4, 60% of the community would have a good time playing the mods. I would be all for that even if it was 10%, because that's somebody who's out there who will be entertained and who will have a good time and can de-stress playing a mod, right? You can talk to Ray Rod. He's super passionate about what he does. He's super passionate about the game. He's <laughs> The game didn't release, and Ray Rod was like, screw this crap. I'm changing it to be like my way. Because this way blows. No. <laughs> he did not. He did not do that. He has never said that. Trust me. Um, go watch. He, he had an interview with Plays that was really good. And he talks about his mod for, what, an hour? And he sounds so passionate about what he's doing. And he explains what he's doing and why he's doing it. You know? Not only is it a hobby, but he just wants... He, he likes the game so much. And you're like, well, why, if he likes the game, why is he going to change it? I don't know. It's just people's, people's minds, man. People's opinions, dude. It's crazy these days. So, if mods came to PS4, Sean, would you quit playing the game? No. If mods came to PS4, would you play mods? Probably not. I'm not here to change your opinion, because I knew from the start it's impossible. That's why... I didn't respond directly on Twitter. <laughs> That's why I was just like, I gotta make a video about this. I've been holding back too long. My new style works well with this kind of topic. Because I'm not holding back anymore. 
Um, so there's that. Uh, interesting, interesting video today for sure. But I really do support mods, not because I hate the game, but because I like the community. <laughs> That's the simple answer for you. It's like a few words. I support mods on PS4. Are you ready? Not because I hate the original game, but because I love the community. So why not? Embrace the entire community. That's what I'm here for. Community. Every No Man's Sky player, come to my channel. I'm here to embrace you all with a huge hug. If you're a modder, come on. I'm ready. Do what you will. Chill. Relax. You're welcome here. Everybody's welcome. I don't hate any part of the community. I joke about Reddit, but they're cool. Moderately cool, like I said before. You know? So, that's uh, my thoughts on PS4 mods. Why not? Literally, that's the answer. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Sean, if you dislike this video, I understand. You can go ahead, click the thumbs down. Um, comment down below. Remember, I'm doing these videos. Oh, God, sorry. I'm playing with a Rubik's Cube as I'm talking, and I just dropped it. My bad. Um, wow, that was a random thing. I'm not editing that out either. Uh, yeah, so like I said, these are videos I'm doing to cause discussion. To bring about some conversation in the comments. Some interaction with the channel. So, let me know what you guys think down in those comments. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if you're Sean. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys next time. So, have a good one. Uh, no hard feelings. Peace out.